I'm your host as always, not having it back with a new episode. I got some news, I got some uh, new game to show off, Payday the Heist, a game that came out yesterday, but it was completely overshadowed by Batman Arkham City, which is understandable. This game is only for, um, only for PS3, and it's a downloadable game. You can't buy this one on disc. It's like the, uh, if you ever seen the movie The Town, this is the video game version of that movie. Not officially, but in the town, you um, you had Ben Affleck and his crew of lackeys. They were bank robbers. And in this game, you have the character that you choose and your crew of lackeys, and you rob banks. Boom. Anyway, first off, first and foremost, let's get down to business. Okay, seriousness. Put your serious face on. All right, I got some news. I'm going to start with PS3. Okay. Uh, first order of business. In case you haven't noticed by now, Payday the Heist is available. It's downloadable from PSN Network. Get it now. It's like 20 something dollars. And I'll talk about it after I get finished running through the news. Uh, moving right along, PlayStation Vita, February 22nd, 2012. It will hit the streets. So get your money right. Get your wallets prepared for this 200 some odd dollar payment that you're going to put towards getting you a new Vita. I plan on getting one and I really hope I don't waste my money. Um, actually, when the PSP first came out, I got one and it was amazing. I liked it, but you know, just like everything else, it it, it just it, it died off. You know, I didn't get a PSP Go and I damn well sure enough didn't get a um, Xperia uh, PS3 whatever the hell it's called. Um, I recently just learned that it is Xperia. I thought it said Zerpa. But anyway, Sony has a weird way of um, spelling words, curiosity. Anyway, moving right along, PlayStation TV in November. Uh, this PlayStation TV is uh, full 3D. It was announced in one of those um, fancy dancy game shows a while ago. And what this TV does is it actually allows um, two players to play and uh, each player will have their own screen when they look through their glasses and each screen will be 3D. So if you're player one, you get a full screen instead of you seeing yourself share a screen with player two. And um, likewise for player two, and the way they do it is they just switch the lenses on the um, passive 3D glasses. It's like, if you look on YouTube, you see a video of somebody doing it. I don't know whether the, um, the the quality is the same but that's the basic technology behind it it's going to run you about 500 or so dollars um like i said if you're really interested in that look out in november it's coming your way next sony uk dumps 5 million euros on uncharted 3 advertisement i put this in there because number one five million dollars is a lot of money for a company to spend on a game advertisement i think five million dollars is a lot to spend on anything especially advertisement so Another thing that I wanted to say is I wonder if Sony put that much money into other exclusives. I'm talking about Resistance and Killzone 3. Resistance 3 and Killzone 3, two games that didn't really sell as good as their uh, the games uh, previous to them. So I wonder how much money did Sony UK and you know US Sony did they put in the advertisements? That it has it been as much as Uncharted 3? And if it, it and if it hadn't been, maybe that has something to do with their uh, the, the game just not selling like they're, they're like they're supposed to. I predict Uncharted 3 will sell unbelievable numbers, and it's because Sony really put the put their back into this game. I just wish they would do it to for every other exclusive. Uh, moving on to Xbox 360. Uh, 360 holiday bundles are available now. Microsoft is getting a jump on the holiday season uh, about a, a little less than a month. You know, Black Friday is next month. And if you don't know what Black Friday is, the day after Thanksgiving is always the day, the start of the holiday season. That's when all the damn stores imaginable have unbeatable prices and let me tell you something i tried to go uh shopping on black friday one time and it was unbelievable i live fairly close to a walmart and anybody who's ever been to a walmart just imagine a walmart parking lot and how big it is and when i say that every parking spot in that parking lot was full i'm not exaggerating at all it was packed 
Black Friday is if you're gonna do Black Friday shopping, do it online. I'm serious. That's the unless you just unless you just love being crammed in stores with crazy maniacs looking for tickle me Elmos and PS uh, V's and you know PS Vitas. That's I call it PSV, but Vitas and you know cameras and all sorts of weird shit that they buy during Christmas. Please do it online. I beg of you. Uh, next story. Uh, turn, 10, turn 10 Studios, the people who brought you Forza Motorsport, have planned a buttload of downloadable content. So all of you who went out and bought Forza Motorsport, um, rejoice in the fact that the developer is really um, supporting this game and will, will offer a lot of of downloadable content i've read this over on ign.com and they were talking about tracks and cars and all types of shit i've never played forza i'm a gran turismo guy um and i rarely ever play gran turismo but uh, forza looks amazing so i'm guessing the game is really good it got like a 9.5 from ign so the game is probably really awesome so like i said if you have the game be on the lookout for downloadable content um it's coming your way and the last uh, Xbox 360 story, uh, Metro 2033 is on sale on Xbox Live. I put this on here because I'm not too sure. I know Metro 2033 is a really underappreciated game. It's a game. Um, it's, it's, it's like a, uh, it's kind of like an RPG. It's almost like Fallout to where it's, a, it's an RPG with like first person shooter elements in it. But um, it, the world had a nuclear war, and um, you live in Russia, and people went underground, and they live in subway stations. And the game, the storyline is amazing. I bought this game a while ago. It was supposed to come out on PS3, but it didn't. Um, it just so it's just an Xbox uh, exclusive. They are coming out with a new, uh, a, a, like a sequel to this game. I think it's a sequel, but. They are coming up with another one that will be on PS3 and Xbox. But if you're on Xbox Live, pick this game up. It is on sale this week. It is awesome. And I put my not having a guarantee on that game. That game is amazing. In other news, Samsung revealed the baddest cell phone available, the Galaxy. Now, um, if you're in the market for a cell phone and you're not too sure which one you want to get, you might want to wait for this to come out. Um, I don't think it's been released yet, but it has been revealed. Now, check out the, uh, the specs on this bad boy. 4.65, 720p HD, super AMO LED display, dual core processor, a 1 gig of RAM, and options for 16 or 32 gigabytes of internal, internal storage. Um, a pair of cameras. You know every camera has a front. Every phone has a camera in the front and back. This one has a 1.3 megapixel in the front and a 5 megapixel 1080p rear camera and according to Samsung it will have zero shutter lag no fucking clue what that means um, I know what shutter is and lag I, I don't know I guess it means if you, you take the picture and you move the phone away then the damn the picture comes out blurred I'm guessing that's what that means and if, if it's that much of a problem when you take pictures on your cell phones then this is the phone for you because it apparently won't have that problem um, Okay, back to Payday, the heist. This game is amazing. Uh, it has a lot of replay value. You have like six heists that you can do. This is only my second one. You um, you can play online with a team of renegade bank robbers, or you can play with a computer like I'm doing right now. This game is amazing. You need to download this game. I don't want to, I'm not trying to dick ride the game or anything, but it is pretty good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, you know, you can dick ride a little bit when it's justified, right? I'm just playing. Anyway, this game is amazing. You have a lot of upgrades. You have a lot, of, like a list of no shit upgrades. It's at least 20. I get knocked in a second chance here. And when you get knocked down, you just get a chance for your teammate to come revive you like, like Call of Duty. It's just like that. The controls are the same as Call of Duty. Um, you have, oh man, there's so much to do in this game. Like the first heist, we had to bust in. You tell everybody to get down. You zip tie them, and then they're your hostage. And... You lose points for hostages when hostages die but we had to like cut a damn cage and then get down into the lower area and then we had to melt the floor over the vault it was just crazy they send SWAT teams at you and cops and of course the guards in the in the uh, in the bank and everything 
it's unbelievable this game is really worth the money like i said it's 20 something dollars it's less than 30 dollars it may just be 20 dollars i don't know i don't remember i pre-ordered it and after i got playing um arkham city yesterday they came i got a message saying that it was ready for download when the psn updated and i downloaded it and i haven't stopped playing it since then um these are my two main games right now this game and arkham city unfortunately this video is just about over i want to thank everybody for their support and checking out the videos um like comment subscribe spread the word this has been game caviar and i have been your host not having it um, again, thank you for all the support, guys. I really appreciate everything. Um, and I'll see you guys again for another show. I'm out. Game. 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 Game